If you would like to know how to create this simple instance of SCP-457 in Roblox Studio, make sure to watch until the entire video is over so you can learn how to make it too. So as you saw in the intro, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this instance of SCP-457, which is capable of killing the player in Roblox. Its attack is, main attack is to light the player on fire, as you can see here, and it will slowly take away your health, as you can see in here. So to start out by creating your model, what you want to do is insert the model I put in the description. It's simply called SCP-457. To get it out of your toolbox, what you want to do is you want to open up the toolbox. If you don't see it, go to the Home tab and then click Toolbox. And then click this button is what looks like four cardboard boxes. And then click on that, and then you should see the model SCP-457. And you can drag that in. What you want to do now is you want to first open up the follow script because I made an error in it. I corrected it on my end. But, you want to pay. I'll leave the code in the description so you just copy and paste it. But, it, upper torso here, normally it's just torso. You want to add upper before it and make sure both are capitalized like this. Next, what you want to do is you want to hold down control and U at the same time on while clicking on this model. And it should ungroup it so you can move every part individually. What you then want to do is you want to grab the hitbox and drag it on to the the NPC, SCP-457, and make sure it's entirely covering the SCP. It doesn't have to, but it'll make it so like it can touch it from anywhere. After that, change its transparency to 1 and do that. Next, what you want to do is you want to drag the fire and do the same thing. After that, you want to go to the Model tab, and then click the arrow under this Create, and then you're going to want to click on Weld, just regular Weld, and then select the Hitbox, and select anywhere on the NPC. Do the same thing with the Fire. After you do that, what you want to do is you want to group the Hitbox, the Fire, SCP-457 and follow and animate under one model and you can name it SCP-457. After you do that you should be done and you can click the play button here on the top and just wait for your game to load. Oh, hold on. Oops. Oh wait whoops. Okay. I made a mistake. You want to put this animate and follow directly into the actual model for SCP-457. It doesn't have a name, so it's just a blank with three bricks. My mistake. After you do that, your SCP-457 should work, and it should begin chasing you. If you touch the hit box, it doesn't do anything, but I'll have the code for it in the description. So to add the code for it, what you're going to want to do, you want to find the fire, well not fire, a uh, hit box, and then you're going to want to insert a script into it. And then you're going to want to type a few variables. First, what you want to do is you want to go into the fire and then copy the particle named fire and paste it into the script by doing control shift v while clicking on the script so select the enable tick so it's off and then we're going to want to create a few variables our first variable will be local db which means debounce will equal false and then local fire will equal script dot well script colon wait for child fire and then what you want to do is script dot parent dot touched colon connect function hit and then you want to do local humanoid wakel hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid if 
humanoid then this line here if humanoid then just detects if it's a valid humanoid this line here if it doesn't find a humanoid it'll just give you an error but if it does it just this is just a double check to make sure it's a true humanoid after that you want to do repeat well not repeat yet you want to do local fire clone will equal fire colon clone fire cl fire clone brackets fire clone fire clone dot parent will equal humanoid dot parent fire clone dot enabled will equal true repeat humanoid colon take damage 10 until wait humanoid colon take damage 10 wait 1.5 until humanoid dot health is equal to 50 the reason we're doing that is so like it doesn't just kill you instantly if you die like you have a chance to run away from it but before we finish the script you want to do under the if humanoid then you want to add if db is equal to false then db equals true wait add weight um 5.5 db equals false and in this area here this this white space do control V with your code from before so it should look like this after that you should be done you can do play here and your thing should work now if I run into this as you can see I'm taking damage one thing I forgot to mention um, you want to do fire clone uh, dot parent with the fire clone dot parent will we give humanoid dot parent dot humanoid root part so it put paste it into the humanoid root part instead of the, just a humanoid dot parent which would be the workspace so now your character will catch on fire you begin taking damage and the fire well I forgot to do that if you want to make the fire go away, what you want to do is you want to do this. After uh, you take 50 damage, you want to do fire clone colon destroy. If you want to make your script run a bit better, what you can do is local tr equals zero. In the repeat, you can do um, tr plus equals one until tr is equal to 5 and after that you can do tr equals 0 like this so in total you should have 31 lines of code including the white space if you added it like me and then after this you can simply run into your scp you'll begin taking damage and it should do this five times before it should stop and after that the fire goes away and then you can run it into it again to take more damage. As you can see, it continues to take health off of you. And then you can run into it again, take more health off. So I told you you have to run into it about three times to, for it to kill you. But you can change that TR variable so when it stops, you can do TR is equal to 5. You can change, say change that to 15 and that would kill the player. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something from it. I hope you have a great day. So, um, yeah. Goodbye.